In today's video, I'm going to show you a complete walkthrough of the Carte du Jour collection from Sleek Lens. Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video, I'm going to walk you through this new food photography collection from Sleek Lens called Carte du Jour. And what it is, is basically just a collection of uh, Photoshop actions that concentrate on a lot of lighting and color adjustments to greatly improve your food photography edits. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we have this nice shot here, and it's it's a pretty decent shot. You can tell just by looking at it that it's kind of underexposed. It's, it's a little bit dark in some areas, but the, the overall photo is really great. I like the photo overall. But there still needs to be a little bit more editing done to it. So what we're going to do is use the Carte du Jour Photoshop actions from Sleek Lens to kind of bump this photo up and make it a little bit more uh, enticing. So I'm going to open my actions window here. I'm going to go to Window Actions. And here are the actions installed, and you have a lot to choose from. You have all of these to choose from that do specific edits to your photo. So the first one I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lighten up the image because we said in the beginning that it's a fairly dark image. So I'm going to make sure the background layer is selected, and I'm going to click Lighten Image, and I'm going to click the Play button at the bottom. And you can see that brightens up the image. Overall, it does a really good job of brightening up the image, just toggling that off and turning it back on. We can already tell that it's starting to get to where we want it to be. We want it to be a light, bright image. Uh, so now what we need to redo is maybe reduce the highlights a little bit. So you can see in the background that you got this nice uh, white areas back here. We kind of want to darken those up just a little bit because especially this dot right here and maybe this dot over here is kind of taking my attention away from the focus of the subject, which is the, uh, the burger here. So I'm going to go to reduce highlights, make sure my background layer is selected, and I'm going to click the play button here and it's going to darken down the highlights a little bit. What it also did though is uh, darken down the highlights on the burger. So what we can actually do is go to light and image and increase the opacity. That's one great thing about these actions is that you're able to increase the opacity to in intensify the effect or lessen it. Uh, we give you the ability to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it to right around here. Uh, and now I'm going to brighten up the image a little bit more. I'm just going to do a um, brighten up action here. Make sure my background layer is selected and just brighten it up a little bit more. Uh, these two do, these uh, lighten image and brighten up, they do two different effects, so that's why I'm using different ones instead of just open the opacity to this one. They do, they concentrate on two different parts of the image, so that's why I'm using both lighten effects there. So now what we need to do is actually intensify the color because some of this color in here, like the lettuce, the nice green lettuce, and the uh, tomato here, we want to actually bump that up a little bit to make it a little bit more appealing. So I'm going to go to Color Boost, and I'm going to go make sure my background layer is selected again. Click Color Boost and click the Play button. And just like that, we have nice saturated colors in here. It did darken down the image just a little bit, but again, we can mess with the opacity to change that. But automatically, the colors look really great. So I'm going to go down to the Lighten Image and just increase the opacity a little bit and do it on the Brighten Image as well. So just like that. Looks really, really great so far. I'm loving how that looks. All right, so now we need to do some local adjustments. And what we're going to do is actually um, kind of show more of the texture in the burger. And how we're going to do that is actually add a clarity brush. So I'm going to go to the background layer here. I'm going to click this under the retouching brushes section. I'm going to click the clarity brush and click the play button. Now you're going to notice you get a little dialog box. This says use a soft white brush to add the effect to the selected areas of your subject. Adjust the brush with the opacity layer desired. So what this basically means is when we click continue, you can see in this clarity brush that we have a uh, layer mask over here. This is where we get a regular Photoshop brush and make sure that the hardness up here on the top left is set all the way down to zero. So we get a white brush, fairly large, and we just paint over the effect. You can see just as I do one swipe over there, it automatically brings out the, the texture in the bun here. I'm gonna decrease my brush do the same thing with this bottom layer right here, just like that. And this is bringing out texture, but also doing a little bit of sharpening as well. So this looks really good. And we're just kind of touching on little spots that we want to stand out more. So just like that. All right. So loving the way that looks. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is actually do a color adjustment. And what this means is we have some artistic enhancements. And what this does is allows you to apply some custom color enhancements to the photo. So I'm going to make sure my background layer is selected. And I'm going to click uh, probably the tomato sauce. That's, what I'm going to, that's one, probably one of my favorites in this artistic collection. I'm going to click that and click the play button. 
and you can see we get a nice magenta tone, sort of a reddish magenta tone, and it applies it to all of the image, not just the background layer, it applies it to the adjustments as well because it's, it moves itself to the top. So here we can um, just see the overall effect. We also get a layer mask as well, and this layer mask is a white layer mask, and if we don't like the effect applied into certain areas, we can actually get a black brush, and we can take away the effect maybe back here just like that you can see how we take it away I actually do like the effect that it gives back there so I'm gonna actually delete the layer mask and bring it back but this is our final edit I really love how this looks let's look at the before and after here so you can see we have sort of a bland dark photo it's not really appealing whatsoever but we apply our adjustments to it and it automatically just pops off the screen it looks really enticing and uh, makes a great food photography photo so hope you have enjoyed looking at this little preview of the new Photoshop Action Collection, Carte Jour, all about food photography. Again, just with a few clicks, we made a very bland photo into a very artistic looking, well exposed, well edited photo. It looks professional. So if you want to learn more about this collection, head on over to SleekLens.com or click the link in the description down below and you'll learn more about the collection there. This has been Jordan from SleekLens and I'll see you in the next video.